Hey guys, welcome to the Fury Time channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 1000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close. Thanks for subscribes to me, guys. Legendary American boxer Roy Jones welcomes the idea of organizing a fight between the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Roy Jones believes that the winner of this confrontation should share the ring with Alexander. I think AJ should fight Fury first, because Great Britain wants this fight, and we thought we lost him because of the Anthony's defeat. I think this fight could still be on the horizon. This is one of the best options for Anthony Joshua in boxing. Besides, I would definitely like to see Alexander against the winner of this fight. Joe Parker vs. Joe Joyce is a great fight. And I would like to see a Sasha fight one of these guys. Both of these fighters are quite good punchers. And they would give a great fight to a boxer like Alexander. Fury and Alexander are good boxers. So, on paper, their fight is a decent boxing match and a chess match. It probably wouldn't have been very exciting for the fans. Roy Jones said. Frank Warren, a promoter of the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury, said that the British fighter was in a very bad psychological state before his return after a prolonged depression that covered him shortly after his victory in 2015. It was just awful. I meet him. Fury had an advantage of 70 kilograms. I brought him to the most surreal meeting at BT Sport and they were all very skeptical about taking him under their wing. No one wanted to know him. And that was the most paradoxical moment. BT had deals for their Premier League for the Champions League, but they didn't want to know anything about it. I talked to them. Fury said what he had to say, and the next minute they were on his case. Warren said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 1000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Swedish heavyweight Otto Wallin say that he doesn't like the constant interviews of the WBC champion and his former rival Tyson Fury around whether he will continue his career or not. But at the same time, Wallin believes that the Briton will defeat Alexander if they still share the ring. Personally, I'm tired of his statement. I don't think care anything Fury says seriously. But other people do, so he can keep beating around the bush. I think it's put boxing in a bad light. Fury asked for one half of a billion dollars for the fight and then called out Manuel Char? You can't take any of his words seriously. He can say whatever he feels at the moment, but I think Yuri still wants to fight. It's hard to bet against Tyson because of his size and boxing skills. Alexander is very good, but defeating Fury is an extremely difficult task for him. I would bet on Fury's victory by a judicial decision, while in told the World Boxing News website. The WBC has significantly increased the likelihood of its heavyweight champion Tyson Fury fighting Anthony Joshua. According to the publication World Boxing News, AJ entering the updated WBC heavyweight rating, taking sixth place in it. Now Fury officially has the right to conduct a violent redefense with him. Joshua has not been included in the WBC ranking since 2016, as he has been a champion or a contender for other organizations all this time. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.